gold yes we are finally on the medal podium with a gold medal congratulations are in full effect for guess who rajane stoner another moment to celebrate for jamaica rajane stoner does it massive on the olympic stage landing jamaica gold in guess what the men's discus throw who counted the men's discus throw for a medal and who counted it for a gold not many of us i know that's for sure but rajane stoner you know comes out and says who cares about who is favorite going in I know what I'm capable of. And he goes out there and he throws a massive Olympic record. And on Dibby Dibby True, he throws an Olympic record, 70 meters on the nose to win the gold medal in the win in the men's discus through. As I said, I'm excited. I was over here dancing, jubilant. And yes, we are finally on the medal podium with a gold courtesy of Roger Sona. Congratulations to him. And yeah, woo! Jamaica! Some people say we break the curse. I'm hoping that this is a break to the curse. But look at this track is the field events are doing it big for Jamaica. The field events are doing it massive. We've collected so far five medals at the Olympic Games and a whole four of them have come from the field events. So yes, our field events athletes are stepping up and it you know, points to the fact that Jamaica is getting strength and depth when it comes to track and field. Before it was Jamaica pretty much on the track, but but now it is Jamaica on the field as well, plus track. And not only no lie, given what has been happening with us on the track, the field athletes have definitely rescued us. They have rescued us. And going forward, as a matter of fact, I want to make sure that you all watch all of the videos and the content surrounding the athletes that are performing on the field because they have done it big for us at this Olympic Games. They have stepped up big time. Gold for Rajay Sona in the men's discus throw, a silver for Shanika Ricketts in the women's triple jump, and also a silver um, for Jamaica in the men's long jump, and also a bronze medal for Jamaica in the men's shot put. Big, big representation from the field. Not going to leave out, of course, Kishane in, with the silver medal in the, in the men's 100 meters. But track is, that is how excellent um, today has been for us from a medal perspective um, for Team Jamaica. And yes, I'm happy to announce that we are one up on the medal table with a gold medal finally. We've been waiting for that gold medal. It came from a place that we least expected it. We least expected that gold medal. So we have to big up Roger. Absolutely. And we're enjoying this moment. We're celebrating with him. I can't wait for him to see the snippets of Jamaicans celebrating his gold. I know there are many of us out there that are super excited by this performance. And I can't wait for him to see our appreciation and love for him in this particular moment. Thank you, Rajay Stona. We love you absolutely. Yay! Okay, guys. So, um, I'm going to put on my, my flag. I just want you all to know it's on a chair over there. It's not touching the ground. So, I just want to get into some other results that happened today. Um, not the best results for us, but we have to get into it nonetheless. So, sh from a shocking perspective or shocking development perspective, unfortunately, we are looking forward to seeing Nikisha Price not only enter the finals for the women's 400 meters, but get Jamaica a medal as well. Um, possibly gold. I was counting her for gold for sure. I know that much. But unfortunately, in a shocking twist or shocking development, Nikisha Price unfortunately places fourth in her semifinal race and does not advance to the finals. As a matter of fact, no Jamaican makes it through to the women's 400 meter finals so we will have no representation there unfortunately so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give you the results for the jamaicans in terms of you know the times that they ran so nikisha price ran a 50.77 to be the fastest jamaican but still not making it in stacy and williams um ran a 50.79 and we had a general brumfield running 51.97 i mean 93 sorry so unfortunately um they don't make it in athletes that make it in salwa Eid nasa Mar lady paul you know, um, Natalia Kazmarek, Amber Annin, Shad Shade Williams, Rashida Adeleke, Alexis Holmes, and Henrietta Yeager. Yeah, those are the athletes that make it into the women's um, 400 meter finals. So, unfortunately, no Jamaican representation here. Now, I do know that there are athletes that are in the village that are su suffering from respiratory issues. A report did come out indicating that a lot of athletes are suffering from the C virus and also um, the 
and are also having respiratory issues. So given how Nikisha Price looked after her race, the, the thought process is we are wondering if she's also one of those athletes that caught uh, that particular virus that is going around in the athlete village. I'm still waiting to hear more information on what hap uh, or what is happening with her. Some more information or some more bad news for Jamaica. Um, when it comes to Malik James King and the men's 400 meter hurdles in his semifinal, he was doing well up until the 10th hurdle, was putting himself in qualification spot, automatically qualifying as well. But he clipped that 10th hurdle and lost momentum and pretty much finished outside of qualifying. So unfortunately, an athlete that we were really looking to make it to the finals and do well, potentially run a national record as well, given how he ran, he was running so good this season, unfortunately did not make it to the finals in the men's. 400 meter hurdles now we only had one person making it to the finals and that was Rashawn Clark and Rashawn Clark advanced um with a time of 48.34 um, seconds now also not making it in was um Jaheel Hyde and he clocked a time of 50.03 seconds um given what happened to Malik James King he can he eventually clocked a time of um 48.85 seconds and as I said did not make it into the finals unfortunately so that's what happened in the men's um 40 meter hurdles really tough for Rashawn Clark um not Rashawn Clark sorry for Malik James King we have been having it we have been struggling a bit I won't lie um in these events that we were expected to at least make it to the finals things were not looking so good on Till, you know, Rajay Sona pretty much lifted us up. He did lift us up, you know, and let us be proud in that moment where things were not necessarily going well for us. So we definitely have to appreciate um, Rajay's efforts as well in the men's um, discuss throw. Another event that I want to report on. So Jaden qualifies for the triple jump final. Jordan Scott, unfortunately, does not make it in. Jaden jumps at 16.99 meters to make it into the triple jump um, final. So we can look forward to seeing him there as well. Um, Jamaica. After, you know, a bumpy start by Hans Parchment, luckily qualifies three athletes to the finals of the um, men's 110-meter hurdles. So Hans leads in after, as I said, not such a great um, execution by him. And then we have also making it in Rashid Broadbell winning his race and also our London Bennett running a new personal best as well, um, qualifying um, for the men's 110-meter hurdles finals. So our London Bennett ran the third fastest time going in um with a let's go to the summary so he ran the second fastest time actually going in with a 13.09 seconds um just ahead of him was grant holloway with his 12.98 um hansa parchment um clocked a 13.919 sorry and rashid broadbill a 13.21 so three jamaicans in the finals three americans a spaniard and a japanese are into the finals of the men's 110 meter hurdle. So that is also an event to look forward to um, as well that is coming up. Um, the final event that I want to touch on is the um, discus throw. So I just want to give you a quick roundup of the discus throw. I know I talked about Roger Sona winning us the gold medal, but we did have three entrants creating history for Jamaica. Bef never before had we had three athletes that made it to the finals of the discus throw at an Olympic Games. So that was big um, representations for Jamaica. We had Ralph Mullins finishing ninth, throwing 65.61 sec meters, sorry, and um, Travis Michael throwing 64.97 meters. They finish ninth and 10th respectively. And as I said, Roger takes the big one, the ultimate prize, the gold medal, and not just a DBDB throw. As I said, he does an Olympic record to get it. Um, taking out the hot favorite and the world record holder as well, um, Mikolas um, Alekna, um, he threw 69.97. And also Matthew Denny as well from Australia took the bronze, 69.31. Um, meters. But that is it, trackies. Let me now know your thoughts in the comment section. Gold, finally. We are excited to announce a gold for Jamaica, courtesy of Rajay Sona in the discourse through amazing, amazing, amazing performance by him. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Malik James, James King, Nikisha Price. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on in the next one. Bye.